While some are still on the remaining trains of the summer holidays, friends, summer is slowly coming to an end and autumn is taking over. Autumn traditionally also sees the release of an Ubuntu STS version in October to be precise. Ubuntu 23.10 will be codenamed Mantec Minotaur and will come as an interim release with an impressive array of new features and improvements. One of the biggest changes to Ubuntu 22.04 LTS or even Ubuntu 23.04 will be a new Flutter-based app store. This can already be tried out during the test weeks and is looking very modern. Overall, the new app store is supposed to be clearer thanks to an improved layout. The search function is set to be improved, as is the app view. It should also be easier to switch between Snap and Debian package formats. At the moment, the App Store does not look completely finished. The categories on the left side are currently limited to just the three items Productivity, Development and Games. I suspect this will be more finely granulated as development progresses and is completed. Those who like add PPAs to their Ubuntu system will notice a security-related change in the future. The previous method of managing the PPAs in a list file under etc apt sources list.d and storing a GPG keyring in etc apt trusted pgp.3 is considered a potential security issue as GPG keys are added at a system level. This was found to be a potential security issue as the GPG key is added at a system level. This mechanism is now abolished and instead the information about the GPG key is added to the sources list of the external repo itself. This way the GPG key is only accepted packages from the associated repository. The heart of Ubuntu 23.10 will be the latest mainline kernel 6.5 even though it is currently not yet arrived. This brings a number of important improvements such as MIDI 2.0 support, improved support for Rust, support for ACPI and RISC-V, enhancements for the long arch architecture, better power management features thanks to support for Intel's topology aware register and PM capsule interface, and much more. Although currently GNOME 45 has not yet been included in the daily builds, it will be included and appear in Ubuntu 23.10. With it comes a bunch of new features, among other things, a new webcam app, a new image viewer, and most likely the return of the glorious terminal app. There are also revised display options and fractional scaling improvements. Ubuntu Tiling Assistant a feature of PubOS was a very good tiling function for a GNOME. This means that the tiles could be arranged very flexibly next to each other or on the top of each other. Ubuntu 23.10 offers a much improved system for window splitting made possible by the integration of the popular GNOME extension Tiling Assistant. Let me show you. Thus Ubuntu closes a gap to PubOS and allows a very flexible approach to tiling open app window, making it possible to resize them etc. at will. The above were just the absolute highlights of the next Ubuntu 23.10 release. Here are some minor changes that are worth mentioning. Introducing of GCC 13, support of LMVM 17. Implementation of Go 1.20, Noto fonts replacing Deja Vu as the default font in some cases, inclusion of Shotwell 0.32. It's the first major update in quite some time. 
Ubuntu 23.10 is on schedule for release on 12 October 2023. This is the third interim release since Ubuntu 22.04 LTS, which will receive a total of nine months of maintenance and will be supported until July 2024. Yes, and that brings us to the end of the video. These are the most important things to know about Ubuntu 23.10 at the moment. But of course, I will keep you up to date as always. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and want to stay tuned for new videos from me, please feel free to subscribe to the channel for free. Thanks for the kind attention, ladies and gentlemen. See you next time. Goodbye.